So we have our switch created. We've got the animated door. The last thing we need to do is to connect the two of them together. Now what I want to do is when the player touches this switch, the switch needs to flip across to the second frame. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this a bit closer to the player so I don't have to travel all the way around here. So let me go to my switch. And I'm just going to drag that closer to the player here. Now on this switch, what I want to do is go across to the nodes and I'm going to do the body entered like it did for the coins. So on my level one here, I need to add a script. So a blank script, go back to my switch, click on body entered, and then I'm going to select level one. So I'm assigning this signal. So I'm sending a signal when the switch body has been entered send a signal to level one and we're going to call it on switch body entered and connect so there's created a function on switch body entered so when the player body touches the switch what do i want to do well the first thing i want to do is to change the image that's displayed on the switch so let's have a look at that when i go to the switch and go to animated sprite I'm just going to 2D so we can see it. We can see in the inspector that we've got the frame displayed as zero. And when I click it to frame one, back to zero, we can see we are flicking the switch over. So this is called frame. The property name is frame. And I can set that to one in code. Let me just reset that. So let's go back to level one into my switch or into my script, sorry, on level one. And what I want to do is I want to reference this switch. And the way I can do that with, is with a dollar sign. So dollar sign, switch, and animated sprite, dot, frame equals one. So when the player body enters the switch, reference the switch, go to the animated sprite, and change the frame to one. Let's see if that works. Click on play, move my player up, and there we can see that switch actually flipped across. We can close that. Now the next thing I need to do is to go to the animation player and reference that and to play the slide up animation. So a similar sort of thing here the dollar sign, reference the door and the animation player, dot, and we're going to play, open brackets, and we're going to play slide up. Let's go across and we'll preview that. So keep your eye on the door on the right hand side as I cross over the switch, the animation plays. Now there is a bit of an issue here because if I go back over the switch, the animation plays again. So how can I stop that? Well, let's think about a little bit of logic here. Now it's actually quite an easy fix. What we can do, we can test the condition when the body enters for the first time. So if the frame is equal to zero, then we can play the animation and switch to frame one. Otherwise, we're not going to play that animation. So we need a conditional statement here. So what we're going to say is if, and if this switch animated sprite frame, so I'm just going to copy that. So if that is equal to, so double equals, if that is equal to zero, colon, then what we're going to do, we're going to switch the frame to one. So we'll flip the switch and we're also going to play the animation. Let's try that. So I'll go up, hit my switch, it flips across, the animation occurs. Let's see what happen, happens when we go across for the second time and the animation doesn't play. So that is correct. I think the only thing I'd like to do is to have the player go over the switch. So we just need to change the order of the player and the switch. So I'm going to drag my switch just above the player. And again, make sure it's not on the player or on the tile map. It's just in between. 
click on play, and there we go.